Before we do get started today, I do have a couple of serious questions that I do have to ask. Stephen, are you here this afternoon with the love and support of your family and your friends and of your own free will? <laughs> I am. Ruth, let me now ask you, is Steve here of his own free will? <laughs> yes. <laughs> friends, Robert Fulgham once wrote that we are all a little weird and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness. And we call it love. We are gathered here today not to mark the start of a new relationship, but rather to recognize the bond of love and mutual weirdness that already exists for Steve and Ruth. <laughs> the marriage of these two hearts holds a much deeper meaning than as just an expression of their love. After all, there was a time when Steve and Ruth traveled separate paths. They came from different backgrounds, but when their paths crossed, they found a kindred spirit which allowed their friendship and their love to transcend their differences. They've gained strength from each other and together have faced life's challenges with courage and with optimism. But most importantly, they're facing those challenges together. Therefore, today we're here to celebrate everything that is unique to these two individuals. We're here to celebrate a special bond, which is in fact growing stronger with the passage of each and every day. So on their behalf, thank you. Thank you for coming today. Steve, Ruth, the two of you have chosen this moment to again promise your love to each other as you affirm one of the most important commitments that you've made in your lives, the commitment of your marriage, the essence of which is the taking of your partner in his or her entirety as lifelong companion and as best friend. It is an honor to be here today. Thank you. And I love your story. But I have to admit, I do have a question. You guys have now been together a little over 10 years. Yes. Are you sure you're not rushing into this? <laughs> <laughs> 10 years and three attempts and we're finally here. <laughs> guys, I love this story, if I may. As the two of you continue your journey together, just promise to continue to accept each other just the way that you are. And don't try to change each other into somebody different. Ruth, it's been said many times that a woman will marry a man hoping that he'll change. A man marries a woman hoping she won't. Oh. <laughs> The truth is, you have plenty of changes ahead of you. You can't have growth without it. So embrace the changes, embrace the growth, and look inside of each of those for new reasons to reaffirm your love. I promise you both that if you look hard enough, you can find a new reason to fall in love with each other each and every day. Just don't force the changes, because if you do, you may not like the person you create nearly as much as you already love the person whose hand you're holding right now. I would encourage the two of you to communicate openly and honestly with each other and to do that with sincerity, with sensitivity, and with compassion. And I encourage you to listen to each other, listen with understanding, listen with respect, never forget to listen with an open mind, and always listen with an open heart. In each other, 10 years ago, you found the person destined to become your best friend. Just take care of each other. And I would encourage the two of you to remember this day always. Remember the beauty, the joy, the excitement, the anticipation, your family and your friends. A wedding day, no matter how big or how small, is often a day of planned chaos, <laughs> right? Yep. yep. <laughs> Spent the day getting ready. Photos have been taken. More photos are going to be taken. You've got some people to see. There's a party to go to. A uh, first dance to get through. 
It's a crazy day. Take time to not only remember why you're here today, but to remember the day. Hand your flowers over. Oh, yeah, I know. I just really forget the day. That's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> and I'd like to have the two of you turn and face each other. And for just a few moments, just look into each other's eyes. <laughs> this is what this is all about. This is why we're here today. Oh, boy. <laughs> we are in trouble already. <laughs> now, do me a favor. Close your eyes. I want you to think back and remember the day you met. That nervous excitement you both felt before you went on that first date. How this random acquaintance became friendship. Friendship became love and your relationship blossomed. Think back to all those dates, those conversations, all those adventures that all led to this moment right here, right now. Ruth, think back to that moment in Harry Potter world where Steve asked you to become his wife. And Steve, even though you thought you knew the answer, how you felt the second you heard the word yes. And the excitement you both felt as you told your family and friends that this was going to eventually happen. <laughs> now imagine, if you will, imagine that you are 20 years in the future. You're celebrating your 20th anniversary of this moment. Imagine where you've been, what you've done. Imagine what your family might look like. Imagine the adventures yet to come. And imagine sitting there together, looking into each other's eyes as you smile and reminisce about how you feel right now. The joy and pride you each feel on your wedding day. Take time just to remember the day. Go ahead and open your eyes. Friends, it's been written that when children find true love, then parents find true joy. The marriage of a son and a daughter is one of the most beautiful moments for a parent to experience in their lives. It is an incredible day. It is a wonderful day. And may each of you, Sophie, Henry, Kit, and Ron, may each of you enjoy this day in these moments because today your hearts are also full of pride and joy. And may you be blessed to see your children's happiness grow in the years to come. Through the years, you have shared with them, you've handed down to them your love, your loyalty. You've shared your hopes. You've shared your dreams. May you see these same gifts reflected in their lives, in their marriage, in their home, and who knows, maybe passed on as well. As parents, we only get to hold our children's hands for just a little while. But they hold our hearts for a lifetime. And today, as your son and daughter set out with your love and well wishes, they've asked me to tell you that for everything you've done for them and do for them, that from deep within their hearts, they want to say thank you. And they want you each to know that they love you very, very much. And friends, there are some important family and friends that could not join us here today. But Ruth and Steve would like to take just a moment to acknowledge them. We hope they see us in the video later and to send them our love and well wishes. So we'd like to use this opportunity to send that love and well wishes to all of those who could not join us physically in our celebration today. The two of you fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, makes you laugh and makes every day just a little bit brighter. Steve, still, still not nervous? Nope. No, you good? good. Steve, <laughs> it's about to get real. <laughs> Do you take Ruth as your wedded wife to love, honor, and cherish, and to respect for as long as you both shall live? I do. And let me ask you this. Do you promise to never eat the last jar of ice cream in the freezer? Uh, I guess. <laughs> and Ruth, let me now ask you. Do you take Steve as your wedded husband to love, honor, cherish, and respect for as long as you both shall live? I do. And let me ask you. Do you promise to never eat the last bag of kettle salt and vinegar chips in the pantry? I never have, and I do. <laughs> 
There are no vows more important nor more meaningful and powerful to each of you than those which you'll share in just a moment. Your wedding vows are a sacred declaration of your love for each other, the foundation of your relationship as a married couple, and the life that you each want to build together. So Steve, as you hold the hands of your best friend, looking deeply into her eyes and even deeper into her heart, would you now repeat your wedding vows after me? Ruth, we celebrate our uniqueness. Ruth, we celebrate our uniqueness. Setting as our goal. Setting as our goal. Not to be identical. Not to be identical. But to complement each other. But to complement each other. With continued love. With continued love. Friendship. Friendship. Trust. Trust. And communication. And communication. I, Steve, take joy today. I, Steve, take joy today. In committing my life to yours. In committing my life to yours. When you need me. When you need me. I will be there. I will be there. And when your strength fails you. And when your strength fails you. May mine always be there for you. May mine always be there for you. Side by side. Side by side. Step by step. Step by step. Our journey together as husband and wife. Our journey together as husband and wife. Begins here and now. Begins here and now. And Ruth, as you hold the hands of your best friend, looking deeply into his eyes, and even deeper into his heart, would you now repeat the same vows? Steve, we celebrate our uniqueness. Steve, we celebrate our uniqueness. Setting as our goal. Setting as our goal. Not to be identical. Not to be identical. But to complement each other. But to complement each other. With continued love. With continued love. Friendship. Friendship. Trust. Trust. And communication. And communication. I, Ruth, take joy today. I, Ruth, take joy today. In committing my life to yours. In committing my life to yours. When you need me. When you need me. I will be there. I will be there. And when your strength fails you. And when your strength fails you. May mine always be there for you. May mine always be there for you. Side by side. Side by side. Step by step. Step by step. Our journey together as husband and wife. Our journey together as husband and wife. Begins here and now. Begins here and now. Friends, this is the point in the ceremony when people talk about the wedding bands being a perfect circle, having no beginning and no end. But we all know that these rings do have a beginning. Rock is dug from the earth. Metals are liquefied in a furnace at over 1,000 degrees. And the hot metal is molded, cooled, and then per and painstakingly polished. Something beautiful is made from raw elements. Love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings made by imperfect beings. It is a process of making something beautiful where once there was nothing at all. And like rings, a successful marriage is not something that just happens. It takes work, it takes understanding, and it takes time. Most importantly, it takes a strong commitment to do whatever it takes to make, make sure that your relationship thrives and not just simply survives. May I have the rings, please? <laughs> These are sticky. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's take back what I said about rock. <laughs> These rings were made from the finest quality high fructose corn syrup, <laughs> cooked until the sugars were melted, and then aged <laughs> to this level of stickiness perfection. <laughs> Friends, actually, these gummy rings are an homage to this couple's story. As Ruth once proposed that Steve be her boyfriend by placing a gummy ring on his hand. Steve, if you'll take your ring for Ruth, mm -hmm. and as you place it on her left hand, if you'll repeat after me. <laughs> Ruth, with this gummy ring. Ruth, with this gummy ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And Ruth, if you'll take your ring for Steve. And as you place it on his left hand, if you repeat after me, Steve, with this gummy ring. Steve, with this gummy ring. I own all your stuff. I own <laughs> I all wed. your stuff. I wed. wed. May these gummy ring, gummy rings. Yes, may these gummy rings be a reminder to each of you of the vows that you've shared here today, and a witness to everyone of your commitment to each other through your marriage. Today, the two of you join your separate lives together. I'd like to have you step to one of the barrels with the sugar. <laughs> these two separate containers of sugar symbolize, 
symbolize your separate lives, your separate families, and your separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as an individual. They also represent your lives before today. As these two containers of sugar are poured into the third container, your lives, family, and friends will be joined together in one, as one. And like sugar, may your marriage stay sweet and only bring you pleasure. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and seal it. This is all too sweet. <laughs> I love it. And hold it. Friends, this is a time for celebration. But let it also be a moment of dedication. The world does a pretty good job of reminding each of us just how every marriage needs to love the nurturing and support of our family and friends. So as Steve and Ruth have just promised themselves to each other, I ask all of you now to make a promise to support their marriage in spirit, in love, and in friendship. For by helping these two keep and maintain their vows to each other, you honor them and you help them to achieve that balance that they need in their lives to be both happy and successful. And in so doing, you get to share. You get to share in their hopes. You get to share in their dreams. And all of you get to share in their future as well. Before family and friends, the two of you have promised to share your love on the days that are summer sweet and full of a thousand dreams. And you have promised to share your love on the days when thunder and rain may come dashing against your hopes. The union of your hearts we recognize in marriage. So by virtue of the love you each hold in your hearts, I pronounce that you are still husband and wife, <laughs> Ruth, you may kiss your nerd. <laughs> Don't go away yet. Don't go away. Don't go away. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. And the rains fa fall soft upon your pomegranate tree. <laughs> and from me to you, as the two of you continue your journey together, just promise to continue to love each other because that's what this is really all about. Never forgetting on this beautiful day in this beautiful place, in front of your family and friends, you married your best friend. And the two of you have an incredible gift. We are all here today to celebrate and honor that gift. It's a gift of your marriage or a gift of your love. Hold on to it. Fight for it. Protect it. Don't ever let it go. And... Please, don't ever take it for granted. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations. If you take your flowers back and turn to face your family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, may I present, now standing before you as a married couple, Steve and Ruth. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs>